What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to discuss four different projects that I think could be in the definition in the running of a blue chip. I think these are projects that in general are not going to go to zero. They have a team and founders that are continuously building and looking to provide value to their holders. Most NFT projects can't say that, but I would say for these four projects on the list, and there'll be a part two and a part three for this. So make sure to comment below which projects you think I should include in these blue chip videos. I think in general, these projects will succeed whether it's bull or bear. Plenty of people have different definitions of what a blue chip actually is. And I would say for the most part, there are only a handful of blue chips in the NFT ecosystem just because of how short the ecosystem has been alive, how short the lifespan of some of these profile picture and some of these utility projects have even been around for. Realistically, a lot of people have only come into the space only a year and a half, two years ago, some even less. And so this list is not going to be perfect. This list could definitely have its flaws and there's going to be projects that I have missed. And there's going to be projects on this list that succeed and there's going to be projects on this list that fail. This is going to be a multi-part series where I discuss different projects that I think have staying power. Projects that have continued to do decent throughout the bear market. And I would say it's much easier to identify projects that are here for the long run, actual projects that are looking to provide value to holders during bear markets when money, volume, and attention is much harder to come by. Remember guys, like I said, this is not going to be a perfect list. Some of these projects are going to win, some of these projects are going to lose. Right now you could absolutely, if you decide to take this video as gospel and buy these projects right now, right after this video airs, you could absolutely be buying some sort of NFT local top. We've had a very bullish month for NFTs and crypto in general in January. So I 100% am preaching caution at the moment. I think these are projects that have a good shot at surviving, continuously building and providing value to their holders throughout the bear market, and subsequently also have a good shot of succeeding during the next bull run, the next bull phase. So take all of this video with a grain of salt and let's hop right into it. Quick plug, you can check out my private Discord in the description below if you're interested in joining. The group is capped at 250 members. We've been having a great couple weeks in the Discord. You can see on the screen here, two projects have absolutely cooked and our members got access to both. A lot of money to potentially be made in these mini bull markets. So if you're looking to take advantage of these fleeting moments, check out the link in the description below. All right, friends, so let's get into it. The first project on the list today that I think is going to continue to survive in the bear market as well as succeed in the bull is Project Gajira. Project Gajira has had an insane run of things throughout the bull market, throughout the bear market. They have done a Gen 1 collection and they have done a Gen 2 collection. You can see here, Sean is the founder of this project and his team, as well as himself, I think do a really great job at providing value to their holders. They basically were the first project that I know of to pioneer this Gen 1 low supply cap collection into a Gen 2 drop farther down the line. Once they have cultivated this initial community that they built up, they had this public awareness, they had a decent floor price for their Gen 1, they decided to do a fairly cheap Gen 2 collection down the line where they would give the whitelist to Gen 1 and they would allow the public to join in during a whitelist, during a public sale so they could expand their ecosystem. I think this is an S2 project. I think this is a project that's going to 100% last throughout the bear market and I really do think they have some really cool stuff coming. So Gajira in general does a ton of whitelist raffles. They have a marketplace that you can use their token to buy whitelist and a bunch of other things. They also have a ton of other utilities baked into this team, this discord, this collection. And they also have some really cool stuff coming very, very soon with Fusion. There's not enough time in this video to break down all the details for all the stuff for these projects, but would highly recommend checking out this thread here for any updates regarding Fusion and Project Gajira. Some really quick stats regarding the Gen 1 collection. They have a current floor price of 7.1 Ethereum with a total supply of 333, and there is only 2% listed. Their Generation 2 collection currently has a floor price of 0.725 with only 2% listed. Both these collections, Gen 1 and Gen 2, have really great floor prices with very few listings. So overall, the community wants to stay in the project. The community is looking to stay with the team, the ecosystem, and is excited for what they have in the future. All right, guys, the next project on the list today is Imposters. And I really like this project because they have decided to go the NFT gaming route. And we have yet to see an NFT project plus gaming really take advantage of any sort of mainstream adoption opportunities. And it's just really hard to do. And games take a long time to make and they take a ton of money. And so overall, the first project to really get this right, I think is going to absolutely succeed. I think Imposters has a chance here. They've raised a ton of money. They have a great founder, Elio Trades. Everyone knows Elio. He makes videos on YouTube and he has big on Twitter, big in the NFT ecosystem, been an OG in the crypto sphere. And I think overall, Elio has the chops and the team to make this project succeed. He also knows fun games when he sees them. So you can think of Imposters as a social deduction game. There's going to be X amount of players in a lobby. There's going to be a bad guy. There's going to be good guys. You're going to have to eject them. So I think Among Us, think of werewolf games like that. I think this is a great opportunity for an 
NFT game to succeed and reach some sort of mass adoption. The fun concept, they have some really cool gameplay. There's an alpha and beta stuff coming out where they're getting the community involved. And so I think this is going to be one of the projects that succeeds bear or bull and continues to build. Great founder, active team, have some really cool stuff coming. They have more to show than most projects. Some quick stats on imposters. Currently the floor price is sitting at about 0.5 ETH and there's only about 322 listings with a 10K supply. So overall, I think very bullish. They've done a ton of different like claims you could do. So you could stake your imposters, you could generate blood token, and then you could claim like a chest, like a spaceship, etc. So if you add all that up, it's more like 0.7, I think, floor price. So if you add up the total of all that stuff between the Genesis and all the different claims you could get, I think the total is about 0.7 ETH or something like that. So keep that in mind. Imposters, I think, has a great future ahead of it. All right, guys. So the next project on the list is going to be Kaiju Kings. Basically, everybody who's been in the NFT ecosystem for more than a few months knows about Kaiju Kings. They are one of the very first projects to once again do that Genesis supply where you stake your token, you generate a yield of X amount of token, and then you can use that to mint a baby version of your Genesis NFT. So heading on over to OpenSea, we can see that the baby floor is currently sitting at 0.22 Ethereum. And what we can do is we can filter by Genesis and that will see the current Genesis floor is at 1.2 Ethereum. So still very strong in a bear market. And Genesis Kaijus, the Kaiju team in general, have never stopped building. They've done a lot of really cool stuff. They have a game, they have cool ecosystems, they have a marketplace, they do tons of whitelist raffles. The community still is very active on Twitter. The Discord is still very active in general. And there's a lot to be said about just those things. A lot of projects don't have any of those things anymore. But this project continues to do well, continues to build. I like the founder on Twitter. He's very active. He likes to share his thoughts. So in general, I would label Kaiju Kings as a potential blue chip runner and is definitely going to be a project that survives in the bear. And I think once again, succeeds in the bull. So the next project on my personal list is going to be V Friends. And it's always going to be the last project on this list. So like I said, we're going to break this up into multiple parts where I'll discuss different projects. But I think V Friends is on this list. A, it's Gary V. He was a huge part of the NFT bull run. I think he's taken a little bit of a step back. But in general, I think he is starting need to dip his toes, but he's never stopped building and integrating and talking with the community in his VFriends Discord and on Twitter. The VFriends has a Genesis collection sitting at 5.5 ETH Ethereum and also a Gen 2 collection sitting something at like 0 0.3, 0 0.35 Ethereum. Depending on which character you got for VFriends, the Genesis 1, the prices vary greatly. Some were going for 15, 20 ETH, some were going for 5. During the bull run, they were all above 15 ETH. It was pretty crazy to watch. But regardless, if you take a look at VFriends, Friends 2, it has a floor price of about 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and there's a 55,000 supply here, okay? So a ton of NFTs here with still a very relatively strong floor price. To me, I'm a big fan of Gary in general. I think he's been great for the NFT ecosystem as a whole, and I do think he's going to be somebody who pushes the space forward positively. Just a disclaimer, I do hold two V Friends Gen 2s. I ended up getting whitelist because I bought like 32 of those books or whatever that he was selling that you could get these NFTs for, and so I'm still holding them to this day. Just to be completely transparent, the only two NFTs I have on this list are Imposters. I hold one Genesis because I minted a while ago for being in Neo Tokyo, and I also hold two V Friends Generation 2s because I bought those books on Amazon where you got those NFTs later on. So full transparency, look, I'm not trying to put my bag here I'm trying to show you guys projects that I think have staying power because for the most part projects are going to zero and for the vast majority of NFT projects they're going to go to zero and never come back. But these projects have shown throughout the bear market they're continuously building they're continuously doing cool stuff and the floor price is continuously staying strong which shows community support. So part one of this video is Gajira, Imposters, Kaiju Kings, and V Friends. I have a list of about 10 other projects that I'm going to show in part two and part three but I do think these projects have a shot at succeeding long term. And for the most part, NFT projects can't say that. Most NFT projects are short term pump and dumps. And this list in particular, I think have staying power in the bear or bull, doesn't matter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a comment below about different projects that you think make the cut for projects that will survive in the bear market. So make sure to comment below, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to look out for part two and part three, and I will see you guys in the very, very next video. Peace. Thank you.